I'm in the corn crib at Benner's Farm, which was used as a field hospital during the Battle of Gettysburg. Now, I like coming out to battlefields. Um, I do it most Tuesdays, my day off. Um, particularly where I'm based now in the East Coast, Mid-Atlantic region of the United States, I'm able to get to a lot of Revolutionary War, War of 1812, and Civil War battlefields. So, if we're talking about the Civil War, if we are teaching the Civil War, um, if we're educators interested in the Civil War, we're teaching that to high school students, and we're teaching the antebellum period, the war itself, and Reconstruction, we have the opportunity, if we live, if we're blessed to live in certain regions of the United States, we have the opportunity to get out of the classroom, put our feet on the ground, and walk the ground and immerse ourself, ourselves sorry, in the environment in which the history took place. I'm just going to place my coffee cup down on a handy window ledge here in the stone barn wall. So I realise that depending on where you live in the United States, you might not have the opportunity to get to a Civil War battlefield. Um, but if you can, and if you can get your students out on a field trip, it means so much more when you're actually walking the ground and you can point to things and you can set them in their context, such as, well, I'm at Benner's farm at the moment, um, so we can look at the brick farmhouse and we can look at the, um, the stone barn with its corn crib attached to the side of it and we can talk about Civil War medicine, um, death in the Civil War, wounding in the Civil War, uh, and the number of people that also, um, 600,000 people killed during the Civil War, um, but 400,000 of those, two-thirds of those, died of infectious diseases. So we can talk about infectious diseases as well. So if we're on the ground and we can touch something tangible, um, it excites me more as a teacher to do that, and perhaps it means more to a student as well if you can be on the ground so if you have the opportunity to get your students on a field trip, please do. If you cannot get your students on a field trip, if you have time yourself on your own time, and I know time is precious, but if you have time during the summer vacation period or a winter break, if you have time to get out to a historical location yourself and shoot some video, take some photographs, um, run some TikToks and bring that passion and bring that location to your students, then do it. Just do it.